and do a quick video. I'm about to head off to uni, but I thought I would do the sweater weather tag because it is autumn and I've not really done anything for that yet. So um, yeah, the sweater weather tag is just a tag about cold weather, really. So um, I guess we'll just get into it. And if I'm looking down here, it's because I've, I've got my laptop on my lap with the questions. So yeah, I have two favorite candles for autumn winter. Um, one of them I can't show you because I don't actually have it, um, but that one is by um, Party Light, if you guys are familiar with that brand. It's kind of like um, like a Tupperware thing, like you, you host parties and they come to your house and you can buy candles, which is cool. The scent is um, Tambodi Safari. If anybody knows where I can actually get my hands on one of those, that would be awesome. If you could, yeah, tell me, because I'm dying without it. The other one I have here, um, it is by Woodwick, um, and this is in Black Cherry. Um, now these candles are awesome for winter because they have like a wooden wick on the inside. You probably can't tell, but whatever. Um, they have a wooden, oh, hold on. Ugh. These ones have a wooden wick on the inside, um, and so when you light it, it crackles like a burning fire, which I think is very appropriate for autumn winter, so those are my two favourite candles. This one I just can't get enough of right now. I detest tea. You can't... I just hate it. I just... you'll never, ever, ever convince me to like the stuff. I think it's disgusting, but I will drink um, coffee and or hot chocolate. I, I love them both, so... Either or, but not tea, because it's gross. Nasty. Blech. Um, full memory. I'm not even sure if I have any, like, full memories. Um, I, I remember, I have this one memory that comes to my head, but it's not really, like, a big memory. I just remember it being really, really cold and miserable. At the, at the, I was in high school, the high school that we went to we had to sit outside even if it was cold and rainy and um, me and a group of friends were sitting underneath this like balcony um, covered area and it was just absolutely freezing and cold but we were you know having a laugh and having a good time and that's actually probably one of the best uh, fall-esque memories that I have. We don't have fall like we do in like America, we call it autumn, so we don't have like the big piles of leaves in Central Park, New York that we can go and jump into, but yeah. I will wear both at the same time because I love them both and you can't ask me to choose and I won't do it, so... I don't really have like, you know, winter, autumn, summer, spring scents, like I don't, I don't rotate my perfumes or prefer different perfumes for different seasons. I kind of just wear whatever I feel like wearing on the day and I tend to shift toward um, florally scents more. I'd, I'd have to say that the most autumn-y perfume that I have is um, my Bulgari um, Jade Omina perfume. I love this to death, it's like one of my favourite perfumes but it's still not very <laughs> um, autumn-y so <laughs> um, but it is like one of my favourites and I'm actually going to put it on now because why not? Mm. Yeah, that's still really like florally citrusy, so <laughs> yeah, I'm really crap at this tag so far. I live in Australia, we don't have Thanksgiving, um, we actually have like autumn winter at a completely different time to um, American people. Um, but my favourite food to eat in autumn winter is probably like pumpkin soup um, which is something that I've gotten more into lately which is cool because I never used to like soup at all before um, yeah I, I would have to say that pumpkin soup is probably my favorite Thanksgiving food it's very cold but I mean it's it's autumn right now and it's sunny outside and I mean it's 17 degrees which is you know kind of cold it's cold for where I live um, considering we've just had like a summer that was like 40 degrees every day um, but it's it's you know kind of sunny the leaves fall off the trees some of them I have some trees in my backyard that the leaves don't fall off of um, yeah it's it's actually we, we get a pretty nice 
um, autumn. It's still pretty chilly, but it's it's cool. It's fine. Probably the one that I'm wearing now, actually. I didn't own a lot of sweaters before, not any, not any that I really liked, but um, I'll, I'll show you. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It's like waxed um, on the front, just on the front panel, um, on the back panel as well, but then the sleeves are just like normal wool. I roll them up because I have short arms, um, and then it's got this kind of cowl turtle neck thing going on. I really like it. It's actually really warm and cozy and makes me happy. I actually have two that like pretty much totally contradict each other. Um, the first one is not one that you would think for winter but um, it is one by Ulta 3 and it's Hoff it blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a brand from a br this nail polish is a brand f this nail polish is there are birds so this nail polish is from a brand called Ulta 3 and it is in Soft Hydrangea? Hydrangea? I don't know. It's like a really soft, um, pastel-y baby blue colour. Um, pastels in Australia at least, I'm pretty sure, and everywhere else, you know, other countries and stuff as well. Um, pastels are huge in winter. For Australia so um, I decided that this is definitely one that I'm going to be sporting on my nails a lot I'm not actually wearing any nail polish at the moment because my nails have been really really bad so I'm just trying to give them a break but um, this one is definitely one that I really really love I think it's a really pretty color and this formula dries really quickly so it's definitely one that I would have the other one is a black nail polish but with kind of a twist um, it is by Sally Hansen sugar coat um, I mentioned this in my April favorites um, so if you want to go and have a look at that, I'll link the video down below. This one is a textured nail polish and it finishes, um, kind of like tarry looking. Um, I love black nail polishes and this is kind of just a really good one to have, um, because it's a little bit different, a little bit different from your average black nail polish. So, those two are definitely ones that I would have. <laughs> I am not very much of a leaf pile kind of person. I, I, I don't like getting dirty um, but I don't football's not really my thing either although I really like it if I'm watching it live so I'd actually probably have to say football games is probably more more my thing skinny jeans don't wear leggings out in public it's a terrible idea they're not pants I just unless you're going to like the gym or doing yoga or or you have to wear them for work for some reason, or if you're at home, that's fine, but don't wear them out in public. Don't wear them as pants, because they're not pants. End rant. Ugg boots are so not my thing. I don't even like slippers. I'll wear, like, bed socks around the house if my feet are cold, so... Yeah. Oh, plus, can I just... I mean, please. How pretty are they? And I think that's all I need to say to convince you that combat boots are better. The Nug Roots to wear fashion wise. My hair is doing some weird stuff. I don't know what that is. I, I think it's an American thing at Starbucks or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Pumpkin spice? You tell me, American people who watch my videos, is pumpkin spice worth the hype? Because I have no idea. <laughs> we don't have like specific seasonal TV shows, but my favourite TV show to watch during fall is. Probably like Supernatural, it's something that I just do um, and have done for years and years and years so that's probably my my favourite to watch. I really love listening to the XX in fall, that, that makes me feel quite fall-ish, um, for lack of a better describing word. Um, yeah, so, so any of the XX is probably where it's at. Um, I'm really liking the um, remix with the XX and Kanye, and I'm pretty sure it's called Touch the Sky. Um, yeah, that, that's a really good song. Not very fully, but you should probably go listen to it anyway. Those are all the questions. If you like this video, it would be awesome if you could give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below, tell me what the heck is pumpkin spice, because I'm actually really confused and I want to know what it is. And if you want to see a specific video from me, then comment that as well, because that helps me. Subscribe if you haven't already, um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks, bye!